Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus and today I'm going to teach you how to give your photographs a new lease of life by animating them in Adobe Photoshop. Your Instagram game is going to be on point and your friends are going to be jealous. So let's jump right into the tutorial. So let's begin by opening up the photo we'd like to use in Photoshop. The photo I'll be using is a photo from Unsplash and can be found in the description below, along with the links to Pixel Surplus. Now that I have my photograph open, I'm going to begin by changing the scale of it. I'm going to be creating an image size of 1920 by 1080. So first I'm going to change the width to 1920. Hit OK. Next, I'm going to head to the crop tool and make sure my ratio is 1920 by 1080 up in the top. I'm going to position my crop so that part of the mountain is still showing. Something like this. I find this animation effect works really well when you have something still in the foreground. It allows the background to move and look magical. Next, we're going to make the selection of the area we'd like to animate. We can do this by hitting the quick mask mode icon here or by hitting Q on our keyboard. Then I'm going to simply paint in all of the elements I'd like to animate. So for my photograph, that's going to be the entire Northern Lights. Remember, you can increase and decrease the scale of the brush by using the open and closed square brackets. Now that I'm happy that I've covered all of the sky, I'm going to hit Q once again and Photoshop is going to create my selection. Now I'm going to need to invert it because as you can see, it selected the mountain. I can do this by heading to select inverse or hitting shift control I. Now with the sky selected, hit control J to duplicate this selection. You should now see it as a new layer in your layers panel. Head to the layers panel and just make sure that the background layer is still locked. If it isn't, select the layer and hit the lock all icon. We just want to be working with the new layer we just created. Now it's time to begin our animation. I want my northern lights to move from the left side to the right side of my image. If you're working on your own image, try and determine which way you'd like your animation to move, whether it be from the right to the left, left to right, or even top to bottom. Listen to the techniques that I teach you today and adjust them accordingly to your image. Let's create the starting point for our animation. With my new layer selected, I'm going to hold shift and hit left on the keyboard five or six times. Now that I'm happy with the starting point of my animation, I'm going to grab the right hand side of my sky and I'm going to stretch it to the right side of the canvas. Now it's time to create the video timeline in Photoshop. So head to window, timeline, then hit create video timeline. I want to create a two second animation. So I'm going to crop both of my layers down to the two second mark. And then I'm going to make sure that my video loops. I can do this by selecting the settings icon and choosing loop playback with a resolution of 50%. If you find that your computer is struggling to animate this, you could even drop the resolution down to 25%. Now it's time to create some keyframes. I'm going to select my sky layer and hit the drop down menu. You should now be able to see the position, opacity and style settings. To create my first keyframe, I'm going to make sure that I'm at the beginning of my video and I'm going to hit the stop clock next to position. You should now see a gold diamond on your timeline, showing your first keyframe. Next, I'm going to scrub through the video to the end. Then I'm going to hit the little diamond next to position again to create my second keyframe. Then with my layer selected, I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and hit the right arrow key to move the sky across to our second position. It should look something like this. 
Now, if you hit play, you should see your northern lights move across the night sky. Obviously, that's a little jarring when it jumps back to the beginning of the sequence, so we're going to need to fix that. First, let's begin by grouping our northern lights layer. You can do this by hitting Ctrl G on your keyboard. Now that we've got our layer grouped, we're going to create a copy. So hit Ctrl J on your keyboard to do so. Then drag the copy layer so that it starts at the halfway point of the layer below. Hit the drop down of our copied layer. Then head to transitions and drag fade to the beginning half of our copied layer. Now let's create a copy of our second layer. You can do that by hitting Ctrl J on your keyboard. Then close the drop down of our second layer and open the drop down of our third layer. Head to the transitions icon and drag fade to the second half of our third layer. Then delete the transition from the first half. And then this is where the magic happens. To create a seamless loop, we're going to take our third layer and we're going to drag it back so that it ends at that one second point. Finally, reposition the end of the sequence by grabbing this icon and dragging it to the two second mark. Now hit play. I'm really happy with how my northern lights look, but clearly there's something strange happening with the mountains. So let's go ahead and fix that quickly. Begin by creating a copy of our background layer. You can do this hitting Ctrl J on your keyboard. Now grab that copy of our background layer and drag it to the top of our layers panel. Then adjust it inside our timeline so it begins at zero seconds and ends at two seconds. Next, we're going to create a negative layer mask. So select our layer, hold Alt and hit the layer mask. Scrub the timeline to the end of the video so that you can see the inconsistencies. Then with a white brush, begin painting over the area with the inconsistencies. Once you're happy, hit play on your timeline to watch your new animated photograph. How cool is that? And finally, you can export your beautiful animated photograph by heading to File, Export, Render Video. Inside the render video panel, you can change the name, select the folder and have access to lots of different settings. What I like to use is head to preset and go to YouTube HD 1080 at 29.97 frames, then hit render. And there you have it, how to up your Instagram game by creating animated photos in Photoshop. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. And we here at Pixel Surplus want to know what you think. So jump down into the comments and let us know if you've enjoyed this video or what tutorials you might like to see next. And as always, hop up to the description where you'll find links to Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is home to the best fonts, textures, mockups, templates, and tutorials in the business as well as the best font bundles on the internet premium fonts at crazy discounts if you're a font fanatic like me you need to check these deals out thank you so much for watching and have a great day everyone